serious? I've known for a month. And you weren't telling us? I hope you'd be surprised. Oh my god. How long are you back for? Uh, I'll be back for 18 days. Are you serious? Alright. Thanks for serving. Thank you. He just, he just got back from Afghanistan. I'm leftover spaghetti. Uh-huh. Oh, um, leftover corn on the cob. Oh, uh, that was good, corn. <laughs> We'd also like to recognize the person who came the farthest to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you help me welcome Navy CB Culinary Specialist First Class Steve Kioski. Steve is returning from Iraq after 10 months of active duty.
<laughs> okay. Oh. Wow, that was big. They'll help you back down here. Now that's what I call a family reunion. Uh, I want to tell you about a tearful reunion that has been months in the making. A local military dad travels halfway around the world to surprise his teenage daughter. Fox 5's Caitlin Pratt has the story. Shelby Ussery had her gloves, her shin pads, and as captain of the Thunder Soccer Club, her team spirit, all ready to go for the first game in Saturday's tournament. What the 11-year-old didn't have is any idea. Her one holiday wish was about to come true. Shelby is a goalie. The net inside these posts is special to her. So it was fitting that one of the most special people in her life, her father, would be standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Army National Guard Sergeant Richard Ussery has been in Iraq for a year. Okay. Love you. I do. A recent ankle injury made a Christmas visit home a possibility, but. <laughs> you gotta let go. Shelby's mother, her soccer coaches were all in on the surprise. A surprise hard to hide the last few days that had to be put in place. Very careful and a lot of sneaking around where she wouldn't know what was going on. I thought she turned around once, but the coach kind of got her attention back a couple of times. <laughs> Engineered so that this father could see his daughter doing what she loves, what he's missed all season long. See you play. <laughs> It's an unexpected gift. Well, I still have tears in my eyes, so you know, it's the best for me. I don't know about her, but I can tell you it's the best for me. In Athens, Caitlin Pratt, Fox 5 News. Precious moment. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ussery will be home for three days before he returns to Fort Hood, Texas. Now, it's unclear right now when he'll be home for good. Those plans depend on whether the sergeant has to go any surgery for his a ankle. CJ emotional right now. Come on, this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
In the backyard. Oops, sorry. Okay, run out back. Nothing? Is it nothing? Where's the surprise? Where did the surprise go? <laughs> <laughs> it's Bella. Who is that? What do you mean? Go see your dad. <laughs> is he blind? Yeah, <laughs> <Lord. laughs> I heard Ethan snore. Oh, he's snorting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! Ta-da! Isabella, did you know who that was? No! You didn't! <laughs> the anticipation Where are they at? built with each moment. They're, they're still waiting for a wheelchair. David Eves has waited long enough. To have him home and to, to hold him and tell him that we're glad to have him home. To see his son Levi come home. I'm surprised you held together this long. <laughs> the Army Ranger and Tarpon Springs High grad spent three tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Six months ago, he was injured when an IED exploded. He suffered traumatic injuries, many he's recovered from, but he can still barely walk. For now, he's been forced to give up his passion of riding motorcycles. As Levi's family waited for his return, so did the Defenders, a group of motorcyclist enthusiasts. It's all about giving. It's not about gifts. It's not about presents. Um, it's just a way to give, to give, to give back. The group of 24 bikers gave their time on Christmas to surprise the staff sergeant with an escort home. It makes this Christmas even more special. Many, like Ron Rook, can relate. I know what it means to the soldier, and I know what it means to his mother that we're out here and doing this today. So we're, it's an honor and privilege to be able to do it. And knew they had to be there for the injured soldier. I've had 67 Christmases prior to this. I'm 68. And so this is, this is I'm just paying back. I'm paying back for all the things that's been done for me over the years. A loud cheer from the entire terminal greeted Levi. Hi, Maddie. How are you? Good Christmas. Along with many hugs. A rumble grew outside the airport as Levi made his way out. Bikers and law enforcement officers gave the wounded veteran a return home like no other. Thanks for uh, looking after us. On a Christmas, he and his family will never forget. I don't need gifts, you know. I got family, I got friends, I don't really need a gift. In Tampa, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Uh, my name is Destiny Jory with the uh, Louisiana National Guard. I'm from Paradis, Louisiana. And I'm going to surprise my two kids, Dominic and Desiree, and my brother, Jonathan Jory, on my welcoming home. How long have you been going? Nine months. Can I have everyone to take it, please? 
Oh God. Oh, Fucking for like you. No, no, they got me crying. Oh. Oh. Sister. 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 Oh, mom. Oh. Best Mother's Day ever, huh? Yeah. Finally back. <laughs> the little one? Yeah. Be careful because it's really hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> no, I don't care. Surprise? It's very hot to burn. Just eat the whipped cream for now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I cry in the commercials. <laughs> Can I get y'all something to drink? <laughs> Some napkins. <laughs> half and half tea. <laughs> 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 <laughs